Alrighty guys, in the last part I took out the first three members of the Elite Four and in this part I'm going to finish this game. I'm going to take on the final member of the Elite Four, Marshall. This is uh... wait where is he? Whoa, there he is. <laughs> so yeah, we met Marshall at Twist Mountain if you ended up heading that way. Um. He is a fighting type user, so a little bit different to uh, what the other three I've kind of used. Um, so yeah, keep your dark types away from this battle because my god, he will thrash you. Um, flying types and psychic types are definitely the Pokemon you want to go with in this battle. Um, so I'm going to be mostly using Daenerys for this and her flying ability because you know I don't have psychic types um, the other alternative I can go with is Shandera because Shandera is awesome like that um, and I'm pretty sure that you know she'd probably be able to get a fair bit of damage on them purely because she is so powerful but for the most part Daenerys is going to be my biggest hitter and that takes care of his first Pokemon throw. Okay, so now he's got me and Shao. Okay. I'm not too concerned about this thing, in all honesty. Um. <laughs> because it high jump kicks and misses me completely, so. This is gonna take it out in one hit, this is fantastic. This is going well. This is going well. I was admittedly quite worried about this guy. This is the uh, this is the uh, elite four member I was most worried about. Um, but yeah, Conkle does his strongest easily. Um, level fifty eight and all that. So, yikes! Yeah, that's kind of obvious. That was going to happen. So I'm sending Chandera in. She's probably my next best option. I'm gonna Willow Wisp and hope that it doesn't use anything. Oh, for fuck's sake, I was hoping it wouldn't use anything like Stone Edge or something more special based. Oh uh, no. <laughs> well, at least that burn is on it now, so that should hopefully prevent it from doing a lot of damage physically. So I'm gonna go over to Unilock, just cause uh, I can't think of much else to do, really. Um, you know, my biggest hitters for this fight are out. So I'm gonna have to revive, um, revive her. Oh, well done, the Unilock, you took that like a pro! gonna waterfall you. Whoa, that actually did more than I expected, but yeah, that, that's kind of called her out. <laughs> Even if, you know, Ox basically, basically only in there just for, as like cannon fodder. That's a terrible thing to say, but that's the truth of the matter. I was gonna send out his final Pokemon, Sork. So, so Marshall doesn't really change his team up either from the first game. The only one that has is Chantal. Okay. This is gonna take me out. I'm sorry. I let you down. Gonna be even more of a bitch and send Peach in there. Because I wanna completely heal up Daenerys before I take this thing down. And I'm kinda of concerned that it might have Sturdy. So if I can just heal up Daenerys real quick. Yikes, payback. Whoa! That... Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect payback to do that much. So, I've got Daenerys back, so we should be fine. Daenerys is definitely the biggest hitter here. Just gotta pray that she really hits this thing hard without... Oh, God. 
It's gonna heal. I can totally see it coming. He is totally gonna heal. <laughs> and still doesn't quite do enough, but hopefully he shouldn't heal this time. I tend not to do it more than once. Come on, Daenerys. One more hit. Gotta land it. Oh yeah! Fantastic. That, ladies and gentlemen, takes out Marshall. <sighs> That's all the Elite Four. All the Elite Four has been defeated. Okay, he says the same thing. So now we can go and fight the champion. Who could it possibly be? I know it's not older because, well, older's fucking around in Floxy Town now. So we need to find out who it is. But first off, I'm going to heal my team. Being that this is a champion fight, I've got to be ready. Okay. Potions. I don't really understand why I just do that. Like, Hyper Potion Revive, then Hyper Potion again, but eh. I'm gonna put the Ice Gem on Unilock. I've got, I don't normally do this, but I've got a feeling it might help. I'm gonna give the Draco Plate to Daenerys. And, uh... I don't think there's much else I can do. I might give the poison barb to Peach, but I don't foresee Peach being much use in the next battle. Okay. Um, switch my team around. Got to make sure I'm ready. I know what the first Pokemon is for the champion, so I need to make sure I've got the right Pokemon choice up. Let's wait and see if this is the this is the part where I end up just spamming my items or whether I actually get through this okay like I did with the Elite Four. And I'm totally gonna just head up here. See who the champion is. This is a long walk. You may notice that you know, now there's no castle surrounding. Pokemon League, so obviously it has sunk into the ground somehow. Okay, so who's the champion? Welcome, challenger. Oh my goodness! It's Iris! Yeah, that, that girl you saw back in uh, what's, what should we call it? Um, Castelia City, who didn't can help us with Team Plasma at all. What is it with champions not wanting to help you? They're the champions for Christ's sake! They've got a responsibility to the region! But this... This is cool. But why is Iris dressed up like some prissy princess? Doesn't suit her. Just makes her look really... prissy and... yeah. So she starts out with Hydreigon, which is why I'm starting out with Pants. Good fighting type to take out the dark type part of Hydreigon. Already you can see her Pokemon are pretty darn strong. Um, don't be too surprised about the fact that she uses mostly Dragon types because, well let's face it, she was a Dragon type trainer in the first game so she's obviously going to use Dragon types in this game. And yikes! Thank God. Pants, you took that lock of pro. And that takes care of Hydreigon. Jesus Christ. Many people say that these things are such, you know, cause such grief. But I've never had any problems in any of my playthroughs against them things. Okay. 
So the next Pokemon she has is Drudigan. So I'm going to switch out to Thinking Unilock. Um, because of that Ice Beam and hopefully with the Ice Gem it'll have a lot more power behind it. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Come on! Damn it, still not enough! And that was with the Ice Gem. Well, I probably should have just not bothered with that. You know, I had to try. So now I'm just going to have to Ice Beam this thing normally. Should be able to take it out in two hits. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with, in all honesty, but I didn't know how much it was going to do. Well, that takes care of Dradigan. Lapras. Okay, I wouldn't call this a dragon. Okay, I'm going to go over to Alien because Alien's definitely going to be my biggest hitter against this thing. It's a water ice type, so definitely not a dragon. <laughs> Pretty bulky, if I remember rightly. Um, a little bit concerned, so I'm going to thunder wave it. Hopefully that will, you know, slow it down and prevent it from uh, attacking on some occasional turns. Yikes. The only problem is Alien's not really immune to a lot of the attacks that this thing has. Okay, that, that did quite a lot. I was lucky to have avoided that sink. Wow! I actually made short work of that Lapras. Um, no worries here. Okay, Agron. It's a steel rock type, so another non-dragon here. I think half of Iris's team are dragons and half are just kind of like other Pokemon that are pretty darn tough, but not actually dragons. I'm probably t being really stupid here sending out Peach, because poison type attacks don't work on Agron and stuff, but... Ow. Peach has always just been kind of cannon fodder up until this point, so... So I'm just going to kind of abuse that to heal Panzer, who's going to be the one that's really going to hit this thing hard. I think it's quad weak to fight him, so that's kind of the idea here. And I kind of saw that one coming. Okay. Next up, Pants! You're healed. Get in there. Do your thing. Oh god. Double edge. Oh. This thing has rock heads, so double edge is not going to damage it. Because double edge is one of those moves that delivers recoil damage. However, because this thing has rock head, obviously it's not going to do a damn thing to it. It can use double edge all it likes and nothing will happen. Not to it anyway. Just to you. Isn't that always the fucking way? So, Agron's down and out, even though I had to revolt, you know, heal up Pants to do that and sacrifice Peach, but you know, at this point in the game I think poor Peach has just become cannon fodder. So Archeops, another non-dragon, non it's a rock flying type, so I'm going back over to Alien here, hopefully we should be okay. I mean it's just, it's an Archeops, once I get it below half health it won't do so much. Oh, yikes. Okay, we need to get it below half health. Excellent. Yeah, we took it out completely. That's fantastic. <laughs> I was only aiming for just half health, but wow, Alien, you went all the way. So this is our last Pokemon, Haxorus. We're actually doing really well here. We're actually not having to abuse any of my items, bar from, like, one Hyper Potion on, on Pants. So, uh, going over to Unilock. Because Unilock's in the best position to take out this uh, bug dragony looking thing. I think this is our last Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's just the music hasn't changed. And if that's the case, then that's awesome. Oh my god. That would have taken it out in one hit, but Haxorus has Focus, so focus Sash, so she's gonna bloody. Okay, she doesn't heal it. No! Oh, thank God! Unilock, you are a pro when it comes to surviving hits. I love you, man. 
So we've defeated Iris, and the music didn't change at all with her last Pokemon. I really appreciate that. Definitely. But then again, maybe other Pokemon battles have just done that, and I just haven't been paying attention. So obviously you can see it looks different to what it did with old, you know, in the first game. But then again, if you've... I didn't do the after game, so it looks different in the uh, after game in the first game as well. Oi, oi, oi! Stop pushing me! I know I'm the champion, but Jesus Christ, woman. So we go into this room. So this is rooms the Hall of Fame. Your Pokemon's name will be recorded here. These important things will never be forgotten. And you want to Pokemon believe in the train of all their hearts and together you have a strength that knows no bounds. Oh, So I've done it again. I have become another champion in another Pokemon game. Your beautiful bond's gone strong in order to make this bond an eternal treasure. Yeah, I kind of cut it at this point just so I could um, do double screens. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, all my Pokemon are going to be uh, recorded here. And like I said, I cut purely so I could uh, switch between two screens. See, all this stuff now is happening happens on the bottom screen. And I would not have been able to, been able to record it without this. So Daenerys. Peach. My cannon fodder. I'm so sorry. Alien. Unilock. Shandera. Wow. You guys have all been awesome. Even you, Peach, who's just basically become cannon fodder at a certain point, but you guys are awesome. I love you guys. You help me get to where I am, blah, blah, blah. So, upon de defeating the game, you can unlock like a certain mode. In Pokemon Black 2, it's challenge mode, which makes the game harder. In Pokemon White 2, you've got an easy mode, which I don't understand why you'd want to play the game any easier, because I think this is quite easy on its own, but okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, save and don't turn off the power. Yeah, I'm kind of fiddling around with the uh, zoom here. Still not quite used to that on, um, oh, what was it? Um, Camtasia. Why do I keep forgetting the program that I use? That's bad. So the game comes to a nice end with fireworks. I've defeated Iris and become the champion. I have also saved the region from those bastards at Team Plasma. I am so special. All the Elite Four are off from up there, congratulations. And now, they're all seeing me off as I return home. Not quite sure that I like this ending Pokemon theme as much as I like, um, the credits theme from the first Pokemon game. Wow, the first Pokemon game is fantastic credit music. You know, first Pokemon Black game, I should say. So yeah, that, that was Pokemon Black 2. I'm finally finished with it. I'm quite happy about that. You get little um, screenshots of your character just leaving Pokemon League and heading to, you know, throughout the various cities and stuff in order to go home. Don't know why. Character doesn't just use fly if they've got a flying Pokemon with them. Uh, maybe they just wanted to walk or run home. But that's probably a long way to run. <laughs> so yeah, Pokemon Black 2 is a great RPG. Um, I've never made it a secret that I love Pokemon games. I think they're fantastic. Um, I'm one of those people that don't really care the formulas like samey and stuff. I will always enjoy the games for what they are. I think they're fantastic. Do I think this game's better than Pokemon Black 1? Admittedly, no. I think Pokemon Black 1 is the superior Pokemon game. I think they did everything right um, with regards to like 
you know, feeling like a Pokemon game that's actually fresh. I mean, it was quite linear in some ways. I didn't like the layout of the region was so much because it felt very linear. Whereas with this one, it felt a lot more, you know, like you're actually exploring, having to go here, there and everywhere. But other than that, that's really the only thing that's got going for it. The story is definitely a whole lot weaker in Pokemon Black 2. It's just kind of there, really. Um, I was kind of disappointed about a few things, like the lack of um, of uh, the character you, you played as in the Pokemon Black 1 game. Like, if you had Memory Link, it would have been awesome to see the character I played as in the first game. Because you hear her mentioned all the time, but you never see her. And that's kind of disappointed me a bit. But other than that, Pokemon Black 2 is still a really solid game. A really good RPG. I really enjoyed it. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. Pokemon Black 2... It's probably a game well worth picking up, or white too if you prefer the white versions of the game. It doesn't really make much difference. Apart from like white Kyurem instead of black Kyurem. There's a fair ton of stuff you can do in the after game. That's one of the th things about this game that I think is better than the first. There's a ton more stuff you can do um, in the after game. Like, you can, like I said before, you can battle in. You can catch Zek both Zekrom and Kyurem and merge them to become Black Kyurem. You can explore all the areas you couldn't couldn't explore before that you could in the first game. Like all the way back to New Vemma Town. You can battle Cheren and Bianca with their team from Pokemon Black 1 or White 1 depending on what you played before. Depending on if you have Memory Link as well. You can battle older. You can head to the Black City or White Hollow if you're playing um, Pokemon White 2. You know, there's, you can battle Cynthia in, um, oh, what was it? You can battle Cynthia in Undella Town. There's, there's a ton of stuff to do after game. It's just, unfortunately, I'm not covering it because I've got other things I want to get on with. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game. You know, it's not as good as Pokemon Black 1, which I think was a better better done game, but I had a great time playing this anyway. And I hope you lot enjoyed watching it. So the game comes to an end. With your character returning home to Aspersia City. To see their mother, their monkey mum. I'm sorry, but she still looks like a monkey. Waiting for you. And together, they return in their house. And that is the end of it. That is the end of Pokemon Black 2, people. It, it's, a, it's been a fun ride. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you stay tuned to any other playthroughs that I do in the future. I have got some more Pokemon ones lined up, but I've also got other ones as well.